Hey guys, welcome back. Well, as you can see, I'm up and running again, and today we're gonna do an animation uh, tutorial in Maya 2018. We're gonna do a, an idle pose, uh, that's what it's called, and it's basically a character standing still with some slight movement, right? So we're gonna do a pose, and then we're gonna add some animation. Here we go. Okay guys, well we're in uh, Maya 2018 and I loaded up our Merry rig once again. I used this uh, a couple of videos ago. Uh, I'll put a link below so you can download this uh, complete character with rig. Uh, it's uh, free to use as long as you don't use it commercially and as long as you give these guys credit. Okay, so uh, link found below. Now, what are we going to do here? What we're going to do is we're going to set uh, Mary in a pose and we're going to have that be a idle animated pose. So basically, she's standing still, but while she's standing still, there is some slight movement going on. So it doesn't look like it's a static figure. It looks more like something that is alive, right? So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to check a couple of settings. Uh, first, I'm going to go into my animation settings in the bottom right with this little running guy with the cog there. Click on it. What I want to make sure is that the frame rate is set to 24 frames per second. I want to make sure that I play back every one frame and that everything is set to play every frame. Okay, good, good. So save that, close that, and there we go. Now, I'm going to need about 30 frames for this sequence. So I'm going to set this to 30, and I'll set this to 30, and there we go. And I'm going to make sure I'm in frame one. Okay. Now, what I need to do is I need to create an initial pose on frame one. I need to copy that to frame 30. So the beginning and the end is exactly the same, so it will loop once it's running, right? And then we need to do some changes somewhere in the middle to give that animated feel, okay? Right, so uh, let's see, uh, a pose. Now that can be basically anything. Um, what I advise you to do is do some research. Uh, do you want to have a hero pose? Do you want uh, her leaning against the wall, sitting on a chair, whatever? Uh, so it's the principle of things, but um, spend some time on that to make sure you understand what you want, okay? Now, one thing I want to do though for sure is I want to open her eyes. Now I've seen a lot of comments from people saying how do I control the rig to uh, get some facial expression. Okay, Now I'll show you. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, open up multiple windows here and what I'll do is in this window up here I'm just going to make sure that we're there. I'm going to go to panels, we're going to go to orthographic and we're going to go to Mary facials cam. This will give us these controls here. Now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so we can see her face, okay? And if we go in here and we take, for example, this um, control right there and hit W to move that up. As we move that up, you'll see that will open up her eye, okay? Now uh, I'm going to do these two uh, at the same time so we have the same level of uh, eyes being open, if you will. Let me just uh, get in there, hang on. Let's do something like this. And you don't want to go all the way because then her eyes will be uh, way too far open. It will look weird. Okay. So let me just go back in here. Let's move this up a little bit more like so. And I have all sorts of controls here. You can go in here and you'll see her cheek move if you want it to go up. And I'll just uh, hit control Z. We'll take both of them raise that up just a little right um for example uh the corners of her mouth you can take this guy and this guy and that will kind of you know give her kind of like an angry look if you will of course you can do one as well and so forth and so on you can wiggle her nose you have all sorts of controls so that's how you do that right anyway uh her eyes are open that was the point we're going to go back in here and let's start with that pose now, I'm going to use the IK rig, as I showed you guys last time. Uh, we have an IK and an FK in this model. What do I mean by that? Uh, the IK is to, for example, take the shoulder, hit E to rotate, move it down, take the elbow, move that in, and so forth. Or you can go in, check this little cube right here, and then open up the channel box. 
And you can go in and instead of FK, IK, you can say, okay, I want to use the inverse uh, kinematic. Uh, so you're gonna set this to one. And if you do that, you can now take the control of, let's say this wrist right here, hit W, and you can move it all around like this, kind of depending on your preference. Now, I'm not sure whether I mentioned IK and FK correctly. This is inverse kinematics. This is IK, and the one before was FK, right? Okay, so let's go back here. I'm gonna hit Control Z, and I wanna make sure that I am in uh, FK. So I'm gonna set that to zero, right? Okay, so let's get started with this pose here. Uh, let's see, what I want to do first is I want to take this midsection right here and slightly bring that down to bend those knees just a little bit. I want the feet to be a little bit apart from each other, so I'm going to take this one, I'm going to hit W, make sure I got the right control here, hit W, move that foot out just slightly, and as we do that, I want to make sure that her center weight is above uh, the her right leg, okay? So I'm gonna hit W, and we're gonna take this control, and we're gonna shift that weight over just a little bit. So it looks a little bit more casual, okay? All right, then we're gonna go in, and what we're gonna do maybe is just slightly rotate that hip. So we're gonna hit E, and we're gonna favor the leg that's uh, more forward, okay? And again, be really subtle in those movements. Right, so what's next? Well, our arms, of course. Uh, arms are way too far up. We're gonna take the shoulder here. Let's start by bringing that down. Let's see what we're gonna do here. I'm going to bend her elbow like this, and then bring that in. And I'm basically just kind of figuring this out as I move along, just to see what I'm gonna do here. Maybe I'll put her hand uh, on her hip. I'll just go in here and take that wrist, and uh, we'll bring that out. And then we'll take this guy. Not too bad. Now we need to make sure that that's in the right position. Okay, so let's see if we need to move that forward a little bit. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have contact everywhere. Now that's not too bad and it's actually pretty good. Uh, we're just gonna take this finger right here. What I want is to make sure that the fingers don't look completely straight. That's always a dead giveaway, so Try not to do that. I'm taking those individual fingers here. Now let's take this one. We'll take this one. Okay, so it looks a little bit more natural. And then of course the thumb. Just make sure it doesn't bend that weird. Okay, so what do we got? Yeah, that's all right. Um, yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to do with our other arm? Um, maybe what we'll do is we'll raise that up. But first, what I want to do is slightly tilt her head. very, very slightly. And then maybe just look a little bit in this direction here. Like that, all right? So we've got our arm here. What are we gonna do with our arm? I'm gonna take this shoulder. I'm gonna tilt that up. And we're gonna take this guy and bring that in. And maybe we're gonna have her salute, why not? We're gonna take her wrist here. Let's twist that and bring that in. And first I need to bring those fingers together, okay? So 
let's see here. That's not too bad. Let's bring that back up a little bit. Let's bring that up a little bit. Just so it doesn't look unnatural, okay? Let's make sure that this pinky finger doesn't look broken. So there's some movement going on there for sure. And then we'll uh, bring that thumb in. Because he's not quite there yet. Saluting, if you know what I mean. So let's uh, bring that in here. And let's make sure she's not poking her eye out. There you go. So we're going to go in here and we're going to bring that thumb out like so. Pull it up a little bit. That's not too bad. Okay. So that's what we have so far. Uh, I think that's fine. Okay. So run frame one, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag select everything. Now, normally you wouldn't uh, select your ground control here, uh, just in case you need to move your uh, character around. So you would deselect that and then you would hit S on your keyboard. I'm just going to leave all of them selected. Okay. So I'm going to hit S on my keyboard, keyframing frame one. Then I'm gonna scrub all the way to frame 30, as I mentioned before, and I'm gonna hit S again. For the simple reason that any animation that runs through the sequence will be exactly the same in the beginning and the end, and uh, as a result, you will not see uh, clipping, okay? So then we're gonna to move to frame 17, like so. And let's see if we can add some uh, slight animation. And when I say slight, I mean slight. It's uh, really important to keep this extremely subtle, right? Now, um, let's see. Of course, she is breathing. So what we need is to um, kind of give the sense that that's going on. So what we might do here is just take this control and very, very, very slightly move that lower section of her upper legs and we'll hit as to keyframe that on frame 17, we'll take this control right here. We'll lean it backwards, just one tad. And maybe that's not enough, but we'll see. That's too much, that's two. As to keyframe that. Now this rig, uh, interesting enough, has actually uh, breasts, uh, breast controls, right? So this character has breast controls and as a result, because we want to simulate the fact that she's breathing, uh, you know, you will inhale, uh, um, you know, oxygen and your chest will expand, right? So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to shift select these two controls here. We're going to open up the channel box. And let's see if we hit R to scale. Let's see what values are changing. X, Y, and Z right here. Let's make that really subtle. Let's do 1.05 on that and 1.05 and 1.05 that should be enough okay good good so we have that and uh, we need to keyframe that so we're going to hit s on our keyboard there you go we might want to slightly rotate her head so we'll take that we'll hit e to rotate we'll very slightly move a little bit to keyframe that we might want to tilt it a little bit as to keyframe that let's see maybe some movement and um, we'll take this elbow right here right uh, let's see what we'll do is we'll very 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 slightly once again move that out hit as a keyframe so you're kind of getting the idea here, right? So what we're doing here is we're just trying to get some very subtle movement. I'm going to take this control right here. I'm going to 
tilt it a little like this and hit W and raise that up again very very slightly okay right so that's basically it guys you can go on and on and on um, it's about the idea it's not about all this stuff okay now what I want next is uh, to not have the controls visible but before we uh, get rid of that we're gonna do a test run right so I click to frame one let's get in here let's get her into position and let's just hit play and see what we get and um, I think it worked out quite well because there's a very very subtle movement kind of the idea that she's standing somewhat still but she's breathing uh, which gives some life to our model you see that the left foot being raised slightly you see her hand moving up and down uh, above her eyes her head is rotating a little bit and so forth okay so that's exactly what we want so now let's uh, turn off these controls here So we're going to go to show and we're going to turn off nerve curves there you go and what we can do here is put in a ground plane why not and maybe put in some light here let's go to create lights let's do a directional light I'll let seven on my keyboard so we can see what's going on I'll hit W to raise that up pull that out it hard to scale it up so I can at least see what's going on and you don't have to really worry about you know whether that has an impact on um, the light because it doesn't really okay so there you go and there she is maybe we want to have some additional light going on because this is a bit uh, scarce we'll do an area light we'll hit R we'll scale that up let W pull it over hit T on a keyboard uh, actually that doesn't work anymore apparently let's hit E to rotate control A to open up the attribute editor let's bring that intensity way 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 down 0.1 it's fine all right so this is what we got uh, let's just uh, hit play and there you go like I said a very subtle movement we're gonna jump back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna play blast this okay so we're gonna go to uh, Windows we're gonna get a play blast so we're gonna open that up time slider is fine uh, let's see AVI is fine quality 100% skill let's set that to 1 frame padding is okay and let's hit play blast Okay, let's hit play and see what we got. I'll just make sure this is repeating. And there we go. Okay guys, well like I said, it has to be very subtle. You can see some slight leg movement, you can see some foot movement, heads tilting and so forth, okay? So that's basically what this is all about, guys. Now, I'm the first guy to admit that I'm not a great animator. I typically don't deal with characters, but nevertheless, this was a requested video. So hopefully it helps you guys to understand the process, okay? That's what it's all about. Well, that said, thank you so much for watching, as always, and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.